Hello, hi YouTube. So I am Megan, aka Spear Street. This is the Pagan Perspective. It is Friday, and I promised you guys uh, to s show you what my my little house spirit shrine looks like. Uh, so this is my one of my little house spirit shrines. Um, and actually, it looks like they were having a little bit of fun. So I'm just gonna put that back up. Um, so this is one of the little uh, shrines you can kind of see. Um, got a few little things on top. Um, there is back here um, a little cauldron um, that I'll often put offerings in um, things. Um, obviously a door. It's very important to have a door. Um, and then various other important things um, are scattered around. So that is uh, the little shrine and I wanted to be able to show that to you guys. Um, so that you could check it out. See. Hi YouTube. So hopefully the little clip was um, enough for you guys to see a little bit of what uh, the shrine looks like. And the reason why I thought it would work for today's uh, pagan perspective is because we're talking about when we combine different elements into um, our practice, how we separate out the physical, the spiritual, um, right? All of those different parts, the personal, all that um, in our practice. And so that is one way that I bring the physical into my practice. Um, so I thought I would try a little uh, different location to film for today. Um, just thought it might be fun. So uh, yeah, you could probably just see a bunch of stuff in the background. It's my herb hutch and things like that. I've got couple of little different fun stuff in there um, but yeah so combining so we're combining uh, the the physical we're combining uh, the spiritual right we're combining it all so and how do we compartmentalize so one thing that I've talked about a lot is because of the nature of my job I have to compartmentalize right so I have to kind of be that mirror and that blank slate for clients when they come in right so I compartmentalize quite a bit with personal life when I'm at work. When I'm at home, however, I don't have to do that, which is awesome. And um, I really enjoy, you know, the more that I can combine all those parts of myself and the more that I don't have extreme separation, the better off I am because I have to have such extreme separation for my job. So I try and really combine everything. So for me, making dinner isn't just about making dinner. It's actually, it's magic, right? So for me, it's, that's how I bring my spiritual into the practice at the same time as I'm doing something mundane as, you know, maybe I'm just making pasta, right? Pasta and sauce, something really easy, right? And so and that's just something to, to think about that, you know, ways that we do everyday things and we can kind of interconnect those other things, like uh, taking a shower. I try to make every shower that I take a spiritual experience, you know, a ritual experience, something that's, you know, important. It's going to nourish me. I'm going to feel grounded by, right? I'm connecting with water at that time. So it's really, really important um, that I do that in my practice because it allows me to be able to compartmentalize when I need to. So I guess that's really the big part of it is that because I have to compartmentalize so much, it almost makes it more necessary for me to bring everything in in my home life, right? So those are some of the ways in which I kind of separate things out. Um, but I also separate things out, um, you know, for people who are not necessarily in the community, right? So when I'm talking to different people, um, I'm gonna be careful about who I necessarily tell what information to. It's, I'm never hiding that information, but I'm certainly not you know, screaming it in their face as soon as I meet them, right? So that's just something to keep in mind too, that I think we compartmentalize a lot of things in our life sometimes. Um, at home, you know, it's very much a, a matter of, um, how can I wrap everything into one, right? How do I get everything to exist on one plane, right? So I, I very much take that um, place from it. So then also, you know, other parts of physicality is about, you know, how do we engage when things aren't going well? Do we remember, right, to look toward our religion, to look toward our spirituality, 
and be able to, you know, ground ourselves and meditate and find solace in that. Ask for for help and for guidance, right? Whether that's through ourselves, through what we already know that we just need to tap into, or um, it's through the God and the Goddess, or or any other deity, or even other creature that you might be, you know, working with at the time. So just something to think about. Um, yeah. So for me in the spiritual part of it, like I said, I bring it into everything I possibly can. Every experience I do, if I'm, especially when I'm doing like, um, face masks and things like that, if it's a spa day, I really try and treat it like a ritual. Um, I really try and make sure that anything that I can treat as ritual and I can create a spiritual existence around, I try to. So that's just something that I try to bring to the table with that. So hopefully I think that answered the question. Um, not really, I think there was some confusion about the question, at least for me a little bit, um, but hopefully that answers it for you and hopefully you liked um, being able to see a little bit of my physical space, right? Um, it's not something that I show a ton, but uh, like I, I promised you guys, um, I wanted to be able to show you that. So that is about it. I think subs week is next week, so I won't see you then. Um, I apologize. I wasn't here last week. Um, my beautiful wife surprised me for my birthday. My birthday was last Friday. Um, and so we had a whole day of adventures planned. It was fabulous. I had an amazing time and she's just the love of my life and she's fabulous. And so, um, so that was wonderful. So I apologize that I was not here for that, but, um, I had a great birthday. So yeah. All right, guys, uh, until uh, the next time I see you, as always, blessed be and aloha.